Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a vintage Star Wars Escape from the Death Star game. Or Escape from Death Star. Which isn't really a sentence. Uh, this was put out by Kenner. Kenner, as many of you know, did a lot of Star Wars toys back in the day. They were based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This is uh, uh, part number 40080 from Kenner. Aimed at ages 7 and up. And it's got all the main characters here with a cool X-Wing picture. Uh, Kenner, I believe, was owned by General Mills at the time. But, uh, yeah, this is from uh, uh, the 70s, so it's a little beat up. Uh, but it's got some pretty cool imagery on it. Uh, it's got a real 70s kind of look. Um, there's the back of the box. Uh, so let's open this up and check out what's inside. This one is mostly complete. I think there's one piece missing. So I'll explain that when we get there. The game board's here. That's kind of a big part. Got some random junk on there. All right. So you got your trash compactor where you start. And you have to move out to the Rebel base. And that's kind of the point. Oh, there's a detention block in here, the tractor beam and control room, and some various points along the way. So, uh, the pictorial content is copyright 1977, 20th Century Fox film. Interesting. Yeah, this came out in 77. And uh, a pretty simplistic game, like most games from the 70s. But it's... it's Still a uh, Star Wars game, so if you're real big into Star Wars, this is something you'll probably want to add to your collection and replay just for the nostalgia value. The board's pretty well constructed. This one's a little dusty from being in storage. Now, there are several pieces to this game that might be missing. The instruction sheet is the most important, obviously. Um, a lot of games from this time had the instructions on here like Clue, Payday, stuff like that. A lot of them had them on the cardboard insert. These had it on a separate sheet of paper. It's one-sided, but it does tell you how to play, so it's kind of important. Um, and you do need to kind of know how to play. The next piece that might be missing is the spinner. Now this is interesting because this one actually folded up into like a little tray to hold the cards. Um, and this one doesn't really do it. I think there's a an, an outer piece that's supposed to be that this sits in, but that's long gone. But the spinner is, does say Star Wars on it, and uh, it is a one-two win, three lose, uh, one-two win, three lose. So it's basically, <clears throat> excuse me, a D3 with R2D2 on it. Now the other pieces are stands. You got your little white. Plexi stands, and there are, I believe, six of those. And here we have uh, the pe the actual figure pieces. We have a blue Han and Chewie, or a green Han and Chewie, blue Han and Chewie, uh, red Leah and Luke, yellow Leah and Luke, yellow Chewie and Han, a blue Leah and uh Luke and a green one. The piece we're missing is the red um, Han Solo and Chewbacca. So there's two, like if you're playing blue, you, you're getting these two pieces. If you're playing green, you get these two. So that's what the figures are, or the pieces rather, for the for play. So let's get these out of the way and we'll look at the cards. There's three stacks of cards. You got your regular stack, your Death Star blueprints, and tractor beam cards. Now the blueprints are all the same, and there's four of them, one for each team. 
Each player needs to get one of these to win. Oh, I bet this thing goes in. Okay, I think the spinner actually just goes in this box. Then there's tractor beam cards, which are just images of Obi Wan Kenobi doodling with the tractor beam. But you have to get one of those to win the game. Then there's a stack of cards here. Now these are all different, as I recall, there's a bunch of different ones. The Force is against you, Stormtroopers in a corridor, lose a turn. The Force is with you, blast a barrier with your blaster, move ahead too. And it puts Force in quotation marks. <laughs> uh, the Force is with you, outwit Grand Moff Tarkin, spin again. Move Luke and Leia to Death Star DS4 coordinate. And DS4 would be here. So I don't know how much that's going to help, but... Alright, uh, move Han and Chewbacca to Death Star DS2 coordinate, and Luke and Leia to Death Star D7 coordinate. The forces against you, Stormtroopers in a corridor, lose a turn. Uh, move Luke and Leia and Han and Chewie to Death Star DS5 coordinate. Move Luke and Leia to Death Star DS3 coordinate. The force is with you. You find some stormtrooper outfits to disguise yourself. Move ahead four. Yeah, you found them on some stormtroopers. The force is against you. Stormtroopers are closing in. Move back four. The force is with you. Uh, stormtrooper costumes again. Force is with you. Blast barrier. Move ahead two again. Uh, forces against you. Camp captured by Imperial stormtroopers. Go go to detention block. Forces against you. Stormtroopers closing in. Move back four. Forces with you. Escape from detention block. Forces with you. Blast a barrier with your blaster. Move ahead two. Uh, Stormtroopers closing in again. Forces with you. Win lightsaber duel with Darth Vader. Move ahead three. That didn't happen in the movie. Uh, out with Grand Moff Tarkin again. Move Luke and Leia to Death Star DS2 coordinate. Forces with you in lightsaber duel again. Captured by stormtroopers again. Forces against you. Fire blocks your way. Move back to. Uh, another blaster barrier. Forces against you. Your blaster misfires. Move back three. Move Han and Chewie to Death Star D6 coordinates. DS6. Move Han and Chewie to Death Star DS8 coordinate. Forces with you, win lightsaber duel again. Forces against you, stormtroopers in a corridor, lose a turn. Forces with you, R2-D2 and C-3PO show you a shortcut. Move to tractor beam. That's handy. Move Le Luke and Leia to Death Star DS-1 coordinate. Um, escape from detention block. Forces against you, fire blocks your way, move back to. Luke and Leah need help. Move your Han and Chewie to join them. That's the first time I think it said Chewie. I've been saying it, but it usually says Chewbacca. Uh, forces against you. Your blaster misfires. Move back three. Forces with you. You find Stormtrooper outfits. Uh, captured by Imperials. Go to the tension block. Han and Chewbacca are trapped. Move your Luke and Leah to their space. The forces with you escape from detention block. Forces against you. Trash monster hauls you back to trash compactor. It's a heck of a monster. Uh, second one of that. Fire blocks your way. Move back two. Move Han and Chewbacca to Death Star D7. Forces against you. Your blast, blaster misfires. Move back three. Forces with you. Outwit Grand, Mar Outwit Grand Mar Tarkin. Spin again. Stormtrooper costumes. Move ahead four. Win lightsaber duel again. Uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO again. Captured again. And lastly, I've got uh, Forces Against You, Your Blaster Misfires. So the art's pretty neat. Uh, it looks, you know, like Star Wars type stuff. So that's easy enough. 
But that's that's really all there is to this game. Um, the cards could easily be uh, lost. Um, there's no inventory list for those. Um, it doesn't say how many cards there are, I don't think. The game is designed for two to four players, of course. Um, you can you can probably find replacements of the figure cards online. They'll probably be fairly expensive, though. That's what, probably why I've never replaced it. Um, that and when this game came out, we didn't have uh, the internet. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's not a lot of... Um, stuff to lose but the pieces that you're gonna that are likely to be missing are gonna be the spinner and the figures uh, the cards 50 50 chance but remember you need one of the blueprints for each figure for each player and uh, one of the tractor beam for each player so there should be at least four of each of those but the um, as far as I can tell the cards are complete I don't know for sure but I believe that they are all there and like I said, they are slightly different. The tractor beam cards do say tractor beam on the bottom. Um, so that they say tractor beam at the bottom of the card, whereas the regular ones do not. And the blueprint ones are actually have a blue outline around them. So you'll actually be able to distinguish them. So be on the lookout for that. If you're a Star Wars buff, this is probably a... A good game to pick up um, it's a pretty easy game to play it's not real complicated but remember to look for the rules sheet too but that'll do it for this episode this was Star Wars Escape from Death Star game put out by Kenner in the 70s um, you can find these it was a pretty popular game because everything Star Wars was real popular when this, the movie came out and they, Kenner went on a bonanza of just making money hand over fist I think but uh, this was one of the things that came out, and I remember liking the game as a kid, but it might be a little complicated for some kids, but here we are. So that's what's inside, and uh, as always, thank you for watching and supporting the channel, and we hope to see you next time.